I'm Kathy. My name is Karen. I'm May Lynn. I'm Natalie. I'm Patricia. I'm Sharon. I'm Sherry. I'm Susan. My name is Susan, and this is my living legacy. Hi, I'm May Lynn from Montreal. Six and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with stage four triple negative breast cancer. Since then, I've come to realize that I'm so much more than a diagnosis, so much more than a prognosis, and so much more than a statistic. I'm a wife, a mother, a daughter, and a friend. I have so much more to give to this world. My living legacy is my passion for life. I'm living life to the fullest every day. I am still doing advocacy work for people with disabilities and, and animal rescue. I am going to the movies and live theater with my amazing son who is my true legacy. Traveling with my husband when our bank account can afford it. And really um, getting out there and enjoying our beautiful city. Um, I'm really grateful for organizations like CBCN who um, can help me get my voice heard. Um, to me, people with metastatic breast cancer are living like dog years. Um, every day I remind myself that I need to live in the moment and pack seven days worth of awesomeness into one. I'm metastatic. In 2008, the cancer spread to my brain. I know that there is no cure, but I'm living my life to the fullest. I belong to a metastatic support group, I love hockey, go flames go, and I attempted golf. I'm an optimist, and for my living legacy, I want to be with my friends and family and help people to advocate for METS. I also want to thank CBCN for actually helping me find my voice. I live in Paradise, Newfoundland, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer originally in 2002 at the age of 35 and had two small children. I had metastases um, in 2009, so I've been living with this disease for six years. Um, along with my friend, uh, we started a peer med support group, and I find great comfort in uh, trying to give back to ladies uh, with my disease and help them um, see that you need to live the best life that you can this disease while you have it. Don't be afraid to advocate for the best care possible for yourself and others. I've had stable metastatic breast cancer for over six and a half years. As a family physician, I learned the importance of integrating healthy lifestyle choices along with treatment. For me, that's meant a plant-based whole foods diet, cycling, meditation, spiritual work, and my creative passion playing jazz on my tenor saxophone. But mostly, I have tremendous gratitude that I'm here to share my love with friends and family. When I was first diagnosed with metastatic disease, and I heard the words incurable and terminal, that was all I could focus on. I quickly realized though, that if I was going to be here for a short time, I wanted to feel as well as I could possibly feel. So my journey became about my health, my physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health. This is my living legacy, my passion for well-being. Do you notice how people react when you say you have cancer? 
My name is Karen and I've had metastatic breast cancer for two and a half years. A wise doctor told me I had a chronic condition and like other chronic conditions, I undergo treatments which actually include lots and lots of exercise. I have never been more fit in my life as a result of that. My living legacy is to teach my children to grow up not fearing cancer and to teach everyone that cancer is a chronic disease that can be managed for all of your life. I'm Patricia from Whistler and I've been living with metastatic breast cancer for two and a half years. My living legacy is my support network. From fighting the cancer, to fundraising, to advocating for coverage for my new medication, and carrying me through periods of depression and anxiety, they've helped me. My supports, especially my husband and my children, fuel my life force. Run that 10K. Get those puppies. Apply for your masters. And while many people tell me I inspire them, it's actually my support network that inspires me. I'm Natalie. I'm 36 years old and I've been living with metastatic breast cancer for four years. Like many people living with metastatic breast cancer, I live from scan to scan. I've learned to cope with this uncertainty I still work full time, I'm a mother, and I volunteer. My living legacy is the difference that I make in the lives of others, especially this one.